In today's video, I'm gonna share with you an autofocus hack that I worked out that fixes face detection mode on the Panasonic G85. Remember those cameras? They came out about 100 years ago. I'm currently using face detection mode on both of them right now. And odds are it's way better than you would probably think. Even if I was to get uncomfortably close to the camera, I'm looking at my reference monitor here, it looks like we're in focus and it doesn't take too long to acquire focus again. So this fix is really simple, but before we get to that, a massive thank you to Jordan Drake, who had gave me this light bulb moment with these old Panasonic G85s. He said on a review of the Panasonic S5 that if you increase the shutter speed and the frame rate, that the autofocus in face detection mode acquires focus far more quickly. And I thought, I wonder if this works with the Panasonic G85. The happy accident that actually happened with this was that I didn't double my shutter speed, which is how you're supposed to do it. So if I'm shooting at 50 frames per second, for example, you're supposed to set your shutter speed to 100. The trick to this, irrespective of if you're shooting in 50 or 60 frames per second, is that you wanna go one click higher. So in the PAL region at 50 frames per second, set your shutter speed to 125. And if you're in the NTSC region shooting at 60 frames per second, set it to 160. And while that might seem high, it works really, really well. Now, if you're doing a static shot like this, you can absolutely change the sensitivity all the way down. But on the clips you're about to see and have been looking at outdoors, I didn't have any custom settings other than accidentally setting the shutter speed a little bit high. And that gave me the great autofocus where I was walking in and out of frame and it was acquiring focus nice and quickly. So there's one really cool trick to keep in mind anytime you want really reliable autofocus using this particular trick. And that's to keep your subject or you in frame the majority of the time. If you take up the majority of the frame without getting too far back, the autofocus doesn't second guess itself too often. I can get really uncomfortably close like this. And yes, it's focused on my face. And as I move back, it's also working. So the bigger the subject is in the frame, the better. Now this also surprisingly worked well, even as I started walking away from the camera, it found my face. But it gets to a point where if you're not filling up enough of the frame, the autofocus tends to want to go to the background and that's unavoidable because the box will actually go missing from your face. So just keep that in mind. It works really well if you're taking up at least one third of the frame. I also tested the Panasonic G85 autofocus in 4K mode and I had no luck. And it didn't matter if I was at 4K 30, 25p or 24p, it was horrible. Most of the time, it wouldn't even acquire focus in autofocus mode. So just keep that in mind, stay away from it. The downside of this again is the fact that you're gonna be shooting in 1080p, but it does upscale really well on the 4K timeline. If you want reliable autofocus from time to time or if you're gonna be in front of the camera, this will work way better than you think it's going to work. Now, when I compared the autofocus up against the Panasonic GH5S, I noticed that the GH5S was still more responsive and it was a much smoother face detection. It actually surprised me how usable it is. It's not perfect. It's never gonna be Sony or Canon smooth, for example, at least not yet anyway, but it's definitely getting better. And what I can tell you about the G85 is that it's gotten better. With this little trick, give it a go, see if it helps you out. But for the tests that I did outdoors, I was blown away when I saw the footage in editing. I was like, man, this is acquiring focus far better than I thought it was going to. I really thought I was gonna to have to cover up a lot of the shots of myself out in the park with B-roll, but it worked great. I was like, man, this is fantastic. So after testing it for an hour or so outside, I can honestly tell you that this works, so give it a go. Just set your shutter speed one click above double. So if you're shooting at 50 frames, set it to 125. Shooting at 60 frames per second, set it to 160 and you'll be good to go. Let me know your results. I'd like to hear from you if you test this out with different lenses, but with the 25mm f1.7 that you're looking at right now as well, on both of these cameras, odds are hopefully it's worked really well. I guess we'll find that out. Thanks again. Catch you soon. See ya.